Okay, so how's everybody holding up? I hope everybody's doing all right. Okay, so before I move into uh, a little build project here, um, there's a couple of things I'd like to address just to get out of the way. Um, and it's in no way to, to center anyone out or, uh, you know, uh, it's 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 just something that I want to say about a comment that was made uh, by a particular individual, and I have nothing like nothing personal against the individual. Um, I just uh, question what they said. Uh, they were talking about Luke Towen and how amazing his work is. I'll talk about Luke in a in a second here. Um, and they said, "quote Anyone can make videos like that." Okay, no, they can't, <laughs> because if they could, they'd be doing it, right? Like, why? I mean, if they could do it, where's their million subs? Like, it's very easy to uh, take on this idea in YouTube culture, and it's great. Like, YouTube culture, especially for modelers, is fantastic. I never had that when I was growing up. I was lucky if I had a book or a magazine with a a rare article or something. Everything we had to work for and practice and develop. And I'm not saying that, that, that people now, for the most part, don't do that. But there are people that uh, think that just because they fill their head and their day with videos, how-to videos, that somehow they think in the theater of their own mind that uh, they can do it. But they don't actually do it. And I know that 99% of the viewers or, or subs are get this but you're always going to have somebody they're going to make comments like that now maybe that's not what they meant but i want to just make that clear that it's a lot easier said than done and that's why i take the time to do these videos like i don't have to do these videos i, mean, I could just refer you to luke Toen, who i should mention by the way is probably one of the most talented gifted and hard working uh artists, modelers, on social media. I have full respect for him. Uh, he's a little bit later generation than me. Uh, I mean, Luke was one of my earliest subscribers. And, I th and I'm totally happy for him that he's getting all the success that he's getting. Um, I had my success in a different generation that was completely different from the one that we have now. Uh, Luke's work is, uh, I mean, he's inspired me to do things. Uh, I believe the palettes that I did was one of his works. So, you know, we all learn from one another, but just to make off the cuff statements like I can do that is just like, I'm sorry, but um, I don't accept that. You know, I mean, I come from a generation where, you know, we had to work, you know, there's lots of education, but uh, you got to do the practical, right? And that's why I'm doing this. And as far as monetization goes, I never started this, this channel to, to be monetized. Uh, in my career, before I even became a professional model maker in film, not model builder, model maker, how I was trained and taught and learned. I did it prior to that for the love of just building a model, I, uh, just like any one of you did. I just sat at the kitchen table like I am now, and I was, would slap together a model that would leave something to be desired, right? And then eventually I went professional because one, you know, my models were being recognized in the market I was in, and then it just snowballed from there. And then I started to get paid for it. So in the same way, like it's not up to me whether I get monetization. Uh, if YouTube wants to do that, that's up to them. It's their platform. But I'm not doing it for that. If they do decide, then great. I respect and I'll accept. But I'm not doing it. I'm doing it for all of you. For all you people that subscribe, that's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I want to pay it forward, right? Just like those that have gone before me, uh, you know, the... Uh, um, early baby boomers that, that forged this hobby, that built the actual infrastructure that all the millennials and most of us benefit from, by the way. So yeah, that's why I do it, you know? And, uh, you know, my, I tip my hat to Luke Toen. Um, 
I appreciate the comment that the person made, but if you're going to say things like anyone can make videos like that, I'm sorry, no, they can't. Like you, you can just say that, but uh, let's see it. Like the proof is in the pudding, right? Otherwise, everybody would be doing it. And just in closing, let me say this. There's a lot of model railroad channels that do it for their own reasons, but there's lots of railroad channels that have thousands of subscribers, and that's great. I congratulate them. But then all of a sudden you see there's been no content for four months, five months, six months. Well, they never got monetized. Like maybe they just don't have the, you know, the energy anymore. It takes a lot of work to do this and to and actually model. And I mentioned this earlier before that if you turn your hobby into just a job, then all the thrill goes out the window and you just burn out. And you don't like any of it anymore. So I don't blame them for that. Like when I see no content for months, I just figure, well, look, they got 3,000 subs and there's no, sub, uh, uh, no uh, monetization. It's not their choice. It's YouTube's. But I get why they just pull back and say, I don't want to make videos anymore. But I still want to make videos and, I, and I'm doing it for all of you uh, because I have fun uh, doing the actual model building. And um, we'll just see how it goes. Just one upload at a time, right? So anyway, let's move on to a uh, model.